What's happening, y'all? It's your girl, Lay Luxuries, and I'm back with another video. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to show you all how I got this beautiful look with this amazing hair from You Nice Hair, y'all. Look at this shape. Okay, so if you want to see how I achieved this look, y'all, this lace is unreal. Y'all gonna want to stay until the end of this video, so just keep watching. Don't you understand? Your love is a one in a million. It goes on and on and on. You give, give. just gonna do my ball cap off camera because I've already shown y'all that in several videos and I can link which video if you want to see the extended version I also went ahead and bleached the knots and I showed y'all the knots they didn't need much bleaching but I went ahead and bleached them anyways because I got to and so they look real good I haven't plugged it or anything because honestly this wig really don't need any plucking at all, which I'm shook. Cause normally when they be like, oh, we pre-plucked the wig, they be lying. But this is the Unice unit and it is so soft. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and install it. So I'm about to hook this comb at the back of my uh, braid. Well, it's really just two pigtails in a braid cause I really didn't feel like going to pull braid down. But yeah, and I loosened it to the loosest one because I'm a big head baby, so yeah. I know I be telling y'all that y'all big head babies, but uh, girl, I'm the ringleader of the big head baby crew. So I'm gonna clip this hair back and I'm just going to measure it out. I don't think I need to cut, hold on, because I can't see nothing for all this lace. I wish they would have put more hair than lace because this is a 13 by four, but it's like, I like a deep part and it stops right here. So, I mean, it's pretty deep. It's not bad at all. It's trust me, it is a really good wig. The knots are small and everything. So it looks really good. It's just, I would like more. And see like, even on the ear tabs, I think I'm gonna just have to clip it, cut it up right here so that it will go over my ear because it is a bit small just for my head because like i said i'm a big head baby so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clip i'm gonna, I'm gonna take a clip and clip this out the way so i'm not cutting the hair and right where this lace is at that's where i'm gonna just snip it just a little bit So the only part I probably have to cut is just this front, just a little bit, because my hairline is a little bit further back, so it's like right here. And I don't need it looking like I tried to make my forehead small, cause I'm not. I'm not gonna use lace glue. I'm actually gonna use um, got to be gel and um, spray. So what I'm gonna take is my got to be styling glue because this stuff is stronger than y'all relationship, Chad. It is, it's literally like 
the strongest glue. It's it's real close to lace glue without having to put glue on your head. And this is kind of safer and to me easier, honestly. I did this method for my uh, other get ready with me that I still need to post. And I was just like, y'all, my lace was looking flawless. Like, that mug was giving scalp. I was tricking myself the way I was looking at that lace. I was like, baby, did I do this? <laughs> That's how I was feeling. But this my new method. Like, I don't even, like, I honestly think I prefer this over lace glue, but only if I'm going to take the style down. So, like, if I wanted to wear this wig for, like, a week or so or two weeks it wouldn't last at all with this uh method but if you take lace glue instead of this then it'll last you gotta move fast with this i will say that because this uh gel will um lift the ball cap and that's what you do not want you do not want for this to lift your ball cap at all oh we can put this other layer on top of that and then dry it down with a blow dryer until it's tacky. I'm looking at my mirror. If I'm looking up, I hope I don't look weird looking at my mirror. <sighs> if I do, I will, y'all. clear is because you put too much so just rub it so that it will go down and it will be fine that's the only thing about this method because when you use lace glue like you don't have to dry it like you don't have to use a blow dryer i don't use a blow dryer because i want it to kind of dry on its own and lace glue dries like fast so now i'm just gonna line this up and then I'm gonna press it in carefully, child. Carefully, because we're also gonna blow dry it into that spot. See how it's stuck? The same side. And if you had a client, you would just tell your client to like hold this. But if you're doing it yourself, child, you is your help. And now, since this is still it's gel, so it's not just completely dry. It's like tacky. I'm going to take the blow dryer and dry it down more. I'm not going to spray it yet. I'm going to dry it down more. And you want to blow dry it. Like, it's still like a little, little, little bit wet, like on these sides. But you really want to blow dry it until it's literally completely dry. And I'm just going to cut these parts so that I can take my eyebrow razor and remove uh, the lace. And I'm going to cut this ear part first just to get that out the way. Because once you cut this, what you're going to do is... Um, Whatever still needs to be glued down or anything like that, like you're gonna spray those down. So you don't wanna be laying down extra lace that you're not gonna even keep. And then for the rest, I take my I take my eyebrow razor and then I go in from the top and I'm basically scratching at the lace because that's gonna make it jagged and it's gonna make it um, like frailed out the way HD lace is. Hopefully y'all can see that. But this is the way that I found works best for me. You could use scissors, but even when you're trying to mimic that jagged edge, like it doesn't look as good. And you see how I still have that part, I gotta lay it back down, but y'all this. This is just transparent lace. It's not even, <laughs> this not even HD lace and it looks really, really good. So, your girl is happy. So far, so great. <laughs> your girl is super happy. Don't get my, don't get my monotone confused. 
I'm just trying to make sure y'all get y'all step down. And see, I'm not trying to cut any of the hairline off on these sides because they got the hairline right. But it's just this part. It looks like like this. And your girl hairline do not look like this. Like, don't play with me. This not me. This not what I be giving. So, like, this part. This part is actually good. So, I'm going to take this flap off. that's dried up glue yeah that was dried up glue okay word but okay yeah you see how that look like right here because it's actually laid purry <laughs> and it's on purry so what i'm gonna do so i want to make sure that i'm taking out the right amount I don't want to take out too much, but I don't want to leave too much. So I want to just make sure that this hairline is as right as possible, not straight, because we ain't trying to have no edges. And more than likely, I'm going to have to pluck this. So I think I'm going to pluck it while I can still hold this. So I'm going to take Make sure you got your angled tweezers with the middle tip, because them other tweezers, child, they don't be pulling nothing out. And I can't stand it, because then it feel like I'm just doing nothing. It feel like all my hard work is for nothing. So, I'm just going to pluck this section so that it looks more like this. And it's not so harsh right there. Because, remind you, I did not pluck none of this stuff, y'all. I literally left everything how they did it. The only thing I did was bleach the knots more. But even that was extra. Like, you did not have to bleach the knots. In my opinion. But that's probably because this is a light brown unit to wear like I'm brown so that's how I be having that's how I be needing my uh knots bleached anyways that's probably why I'm gonna assume that that's why I didn't need that much I'm sure for a black unit you definitely gonna have to pluck it I mean bleach it but yeah they did real good on the pre-plug and they knots are so small that it just makes all of this so much easier so you nice is definitely doing their thing. They definitely giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm just customizing this a little bit more. Especially right here. I just want to make sure everything's blended properly. And you want to make sure that you pull it from the roots. Pluck from the roots. See how they look a lot more natural it ain't that straight no more and then when we go in with like a wax stick it's gonna look even better this almost made me want to braid it Ooh, that might be fine but then again then again that ain't the look that i'm really going for today so and i'm gonna take my eyebrow razor across the top like i showed y'all and I think I'm gonna do baby hairs. I haven't done baby hairs in a little bit. So I feel, feel like I'm gonna do baby hairs. And y'all, I ain't gonna lie, when I first seen this color, I was just like, oh, I don't know about that. I was gonna say, is this mug shedding? I forgot, I ain't pulled out all that hair that I plucked. But the hair is so soft, y'all. I do like that. Which makes me wonder, is it even gonna hold the curl? Cause I want like a Hollywood loose curl type of vibe and I believe this is like 24 or 22 inch let's see if I can see that oh not my bra but it's like a 24 or 22 inch y'all I'm pregnant for those that's watching this video and you confused on why I'm bad dude I'm pregnant child but it's still pretty long normally uh the companies when they send me their hair or whatever the companies that I've dealt with, they always have, like, their hair is always longer than what I think. Either that or I'm just short. This was really a super easy install. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I didn't have to do a lot of work at all. And I already have my hot comb on, y'all. This is the 
Leia Luxuries hot comb that you can order from my site. So don't forget to do that because my hot comb literally get hot within seconds. And on top of that, look, before I use any product on the hair, I'm gonna show y'all. And it's at the highest, um, it's at the highest heat. Y'all see how flat that just got? Like, y'all high combs, y'all be having it on how he using wax and everything, and it still don't be this flat. Like, I ain't even put nothing on the hair. So imagine when I actually put the wax stuff on the hair. Like, y'all need, need to shop for me. I ain't gonna keep telling y'all shop for me. Shop for you nice and shop for me. <laughs> So you get your wig right and i don't know if i told y'all i don't think i mentioned it in any of my videos on my website i also have a wig kit for like 50 dollars. so like the wig kit it, it's gonna give you everything that you need to install your wigs it's gonna give you everything that i've been using so if y'all be wondering how she get it so late how she get it like that baby buy the wig kit and then watch the video and then boom your hair gonna be laid too so, now, I'm gonna clip this back and we're gonna use the elastic band that they gave us. Y'all, this hair look good. This my hair, don't tell me it ain't. This my hair and you can't tell me it ain't. So we're gonna use the elastic band that they use. I mean, that they sent. I'm going to spray down lightly, y'all. I'm talking like a little bit of spray. Spray down all these pieces. And when I spray it, I'm gonna blow dry it before I put this elastic band on. But I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and take some alcohol and clean up the edges. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take my elastic band. Oh, this got a little Velcro on it. Mm. Y'all fancy, but I don't know how that's gonna work because that Velcro, the thing is too long. My head ain't that big. I'm still gonna tie it. Even though they got Velcro, I'm still gonna, am I? Let's see, let me try that Velcro with it up. Oh, I guess I can use that Velcro. It's not as tight like I would, like I be trying to squeeze my brain whenever I'm laying my stuff down, but you know what I'm saying? That's just me. All right, so now that that is getting laid, I'm going to take this down and I'm gonna let y'all watch me curl this hair. Um, yeah. Alright y'all, now I'm back looking like somebody's grand freaking mother, but we're gonna see if this lace is laid because child, now I'm like, I don't know about it, but oh, change my mind. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Girl, I have got to get off TikTok. But, okay. Okay. Giving very much scale. Okay, I love the lace. Now, we just need to get these curls together. So I can love the curls. So, I'm going to spray this again. Because I done sprayed it a million times. But I told y'all this hair is soft. And when the hair is soft... Typically, it don't do right at all. Like the curls don't be holding. You got to spray it a million times. So, see that already falling, child. All right, let's see what this looks like. I'm going to take this big old wide tooth comb. You see how the curl just came out? Luckily, I don't want no tight curl. But if I did, this would not be it. Just because they hair is just too soft for that. So... I actually don't even want it this tight. So I'm just gonna keep brushing 
until I get that looser curl. I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to layer this hair and I'm just gonna go in with it because it needs it. Like if I don't, it's not gonna, it's not gonna give what it's supposed to give. So I'm just pulling it and then cutting. I'm gonna take my edge booster because I do want this real flat so that it looks um, more crisp. And then I'm also wanting this to go up. I don't know how I feel about the curls just yet, but I'm gonna finish before I give y'all my final review. I'm gonna add some edges. I wasn't going to, but now I'm going to. Absolutely love it, y'all. At first, I wasn't sure about the color, but now, now, your girl really likes it. You know what I'm saying? It's really cute. You know what I'm saying? And I'm finna get dressed in a little bit, but yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the end result of this hair. Now that it's been curled up, definitely worth the money. If you are looking for something affordable, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> If you're looking for something affordable that look cute and is giving what it's supposed to give, child, shop with you nice hair. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.